Let's have a look at the components that I'm using to create a very basic FPV system to use with my TBS Discovery. The TBS Discovery was purchased from a firm in Doncaster, ready made, a reasonable spec. I probably would have gone for a higher, higher spec had I known more about it. Uh, the first thing I've had to do is change the stock propellers for Grautner E-Props. The DJI motors are okay, the, one of them's rattling, there is some vibration still that I can't get rid of. Uh, batteries, I'm using 5000 milliamp, which are giving me about 20 minutes flight time, which is actually quite good. As you can see, I've added a GoPro to the front, it's not in a gimbal yet, and as we speak, uh, the nice people at Amazon have just delivered a Sony FPV camera. I've added a battery alarm which is mounted underneath the lower frame so it can be seen from the air. Uh, this will give an indication of uh, the battery condition in flight. I'm using a hacked DX7 Spectrum. You can see the aerial to the left of the main aerial. This is the Flysky hack supposedly more reliable and a greater transmitting distance. A uh, quick tour around the TBS, you can see the Grotner E-Props, the GoPro mounted on the front. Behind that the Boscam TS351. Uh, you can see the Flysky receiver mounted at the rear. The LCD screen I've used an ePath China 7 inch TFT monitor, uh, this came from Amazon, ridiculously cheap for what it is, and it works really well. I've made a very basic hood from Depron, this is Mark 1, it needs to be a folding hood. On the top of the hood you will see mounted the RC305 receiver. There's a rat's nest of wires behind it which is basically just the batteries and the wires that the LCD screen came with which actually just want hacking apart and tidying up. The LCD screen and receiver are mounted on a cheap tripod so I can set this at eye level when I'm flying. I've purchased a GoPro AV Outlead, in fact we purchased two, one from Fastlad which is the one with the 5 volt in and that just doesn't work. The one that is actually working is one from China which merely has ground and video. As soon as this was connected to the GoPro, the GoPro's output AV straight away. So don't know at all what's wrong with the one with the 5 volt in. Okay let's go ahead and power this up. Transmitter on first. Battery connected. Screen and receiver connected. And GoPro on. And there you have it, working. Okay, now we're all hooked up, uh, tested indoors. Let's go for a quick flight and give it a test on the flying field. Mm -hmm. 